Encryption protects data from unauthorized access when other security measures fail, such as passwords. Much of the time, this failure has to do with someone gaining access to your computer and then accessing the data on it. However, with encrypting file system, the public and private keys that are generated make it impossible for users other than the one who encrypted the data to have access to it. Encryption and decryption are unnoticed by the user. They can only be used on NTFS volumes and the keys are not assigned to a computer, they're assigned to a user. So if another user logs on and tries to access the encrypted data, there's no way they can. You can't use encryption and compression together. You have to choose one or the other. And after you've encrypted a file or folder, it will look green in File Explorer. Encrypting is simple. Locate the folder to encrypt, right click, and click Properties. I'll pull this over here. From the General tab, click Advanced, and choose to Encrypt Contents to Secure Data. Click OK and OK. OK. And then you'll be prompted to apply that to the subfolders as well. We'll click OK there too. Notice down here it says we need to back up our file encryption key. If I click this, it walks me through the backup process, one which is to save to SkyDrive. That's a good option. Once your data is encrypted, it'll be protected.